Hi guys, welcome to The Positive Life. I'm Christina and today I just wanted to come on and do a quick energy check with you guys, or I'm sorry, an energy update uh, with the full moon and the lunar eclipse that we are experiencing and that we are feeling right now. There's a lot of energy that is going around. Um, as an empath, I know I can feel a lot of energy going around right now. Um, not just my energy, but the energy of the collective and the energy of the eclipse and the moon. And I just wanted to just sit down and speak with you guys a little bit about that and do an intuitive reading with you guys. So first off, I feel like, and I feel, I feel like the dominant energy right now is change, change and transformation. And with change and transformation, there's going to, there's going to be, like we're going to have to do some spring cleaning. We're going to have to let go of the new, I'm sorry, let go of the old, let go of what's not serving us to make room for the new, for the growth, for the expansive um, energy that's coming in right now. Um, I was, I was feeling this energy, but it wasn't, I didn't really feel it very strongly until last night or maybe like last weekend and this week. Um, I've been having insomnia and I know normally if that occurs, it's because there's a lot of energy that I'm, I'm feeling. And it's really, really strong energy. And so um, I think for the mass majority of us, we are going through a transformation. We are going through some kind of change, whether it's emotionally, personally, spiritually. And the lunar, lunar eclipse is sort of dr the driving force of um, completing this process. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know I'm not the only one. If you actually have been experiencing some kind of energy shifts or transformation process, please comment in the comment box. I'd love to hear about your what hear about what you're going through um so with the energy that is occurring about change and transformation i also wanted to ask spirit what messages uh what messages we need to hear amongst this energy what messages do we need to hear currently um because of the lunar eclipse and the full moon and um, the processes that we've been going through as a collective, the change, the awakenings, right? Um, with awakenings, there comes shifting of the old, right? <laughs> the dying of the ego, the, the coming of the new. What kind of messages? I'm just gonna pull three right now. See what comes out. All right. So first we've got expect powerful change. Wow, new moon eclipse. What? Look, <laughs> spirit is seriously screaming at us right now. This is exactly what I've been talking to you guys about. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. We're experiencing a full moon eclipse, but change is occurring, guys. 
All right, so the next card. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. So it, nothing will come of this situation is talking about the old habits and the old selves that we need to release and like shed a layer of ourselves, you know, dying of the ego. Uh, we need to let go of what's not serving us. So this change can occur, guys. And this this energy has been strong uh, for a while now. I the last few readings I've been doing, it's been talking about transformation and change. This energy is very strong. And then you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. So spirit is just wanting to let you know, no matter what is going on right now, no matter where you are with your spiritual journey, your awakening and whatever transformation that you are experiencing or what, what kind of changes that you're going through right now, you are enough, okay? And sometimes like the weight of the earth or the weight of the weight of like the energy of everyone, you know, as an empath, I, if you're an empath, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, you feel your energy, but you also feel everyone else's energy. And so, um, sometimes that can be overwhelming. And, um, I know that can cause anxiety to occur, maybe depression, just know whatever, whatever situation, whatever process you're going through, you are good enough. Spirit wants you to know that. Okay, so let's see what else, you guys. What else, what messages, what else do we need to hear right now? This one wants to come out. And I guess this one. I'm gonna call it. Pull out one more. What kind of messages here do we need to hear? Okay. All right, so our next card is take time to breathe out disseminating moon. Same time to breathe out. So with this change, with this overwhelming energy, um, which can cause anxiety, which can cause a lot of ruckus for our lives if we don't know how to work with it, we need to take some time to breathe out, take some time to go within, take some quiet time, go ahead and meditate, um, Go to like, go within and quiet our minds is what I'm hearing right now. Because when there's a lot of energy and when the energy is strong, just like right now, um, it could seem like you're in a loud room, it's, even though you're not like, that's how overwhelming it can, it can and so when you take some time to just breathe and quiet your mind, um, that'll help with relieving that anxiety. So we've got, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So with this, I am sensing that, you know, we're all in our own journey, right? And so we can't say how, oh, you know, I'm in, in this, this step in my awakening or I'm in, you know, some people aren't awakened completely right now. Some, some people are in the beginning of their journey, but you need to not be prideful and let ego get in the way, feel, making you feel like you're better than them because you're not, and none of us are better than any of us. We're in our own journey. Um, and it doesn't mean that one is farther than the other. Okay. We need to show compassion with each other. And then lastly, we've got be bold and make the first move. 
So sometimes, yeah, spirit is telling us, um, you know, we may receive synchronicities, we may receive signs from the universe to take certain steps towards our spiritual growth and change and transformation. But sometimes we need to actually take the first step. We actually need to take the courage, have the courage to take that first step and move forward and move out of our old paradigms, um, move out of what quote unquote, like normal people or normal, um, what the society sees as normal. Um, we need to be bold and make our first move towards our, our growth and transformation. And I feel like this card, this message is for you guys who are just being awakened, who are in the beginning of your journey. Um, this energy that we're feeling right now is a huge con con is contributing greatly towards this next step for you in the beginning of your journey. And you need to be bold because, you know, let's just say you're from a Catholic family and you're awakened or you're awakening and um, you slowly start sharing your new beliefs or whatever, and your family starts telling you otherwise, you need to stay bold, you need to be strong, and don't stray from that because ultimately, um, your spiritual growth and your transformation is a lot more important than what others believe or say to you, regardless of who it is, whether it's your family, your coach, your teacher, your mayor, you know, your parents, your spouse or partner, your spiritual growth is more important than anyone outside of that. Okay. And so that is all that I'm receiving right now from spirit and from energy that I am feeling right now I just want to I wanted to come on real quick and share that with you guys because I know I'm not the only one and like I said in the comments please share any symptoms or changes that you're feeling as well um, regardless of where you're at in your journey I'd love to hear from you guys and so I will close it close this video now if this resonates with you or if you got any sort of um, knowledge from this please like share and subscribe and I will see you guys later thank you bye